Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mr. Damon, and welcome to World in a Jar. Yes, Carrot, I'm kind of stealing this idea from you, but, um, my Eldaria game that I've been playing, I am not going to be able to continue it for a little while, at least, until I upgrade my computer. I'm getting a lot of lag on it, and it has to do with the number of mods that I have installed. And the number of uh, the the shaders pack that I have installed, my computer can just barely run it, and it's to the breaking point. So I'm not going to be able to continue it. And also, my this is the reason I'm doing World in a Jar rather than Skyblock is the Skyblock world that I was on the map got reset yet again. So yeah, I'm stuck in doing something else, and World in a Jar seemed like a good way to go. So let's see. I'm too lazy, so here you go, 1.3 users. Okay. Well, let's get some wood here. And yes, I'm not getting any lag on this, which is good. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to work the world in a jar. I mean, there are challenges. I'm going to look them up. First of all, I'm just going to try and see... What's in the jar that I start out in? And I know there's a challenge about collecting sponges. They're either at the bottoms or the tops of the jars somewhere. I'm not gonna... here, I'm gonna do that first off. And I love how I start out and it's gonna be nighttime already. But let's see here, we got water so, I mean, I could do the cobblestone generator real quick here, but I'm going to want iron and buckets and... Oh, wait. Okay, so there are an animals over there that I should try and get to. And there's a water jar. So there was an one up there, and I don't know what it is, but I wonder what is in this jar. Okay, so I see stone, I see coal. Okay, so let's uh, take this wood. Yeah. What, what am I doing? There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I'm trying to get some a pickaxe so I can get some stone. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's see if I can get any seeds from this grass. Come on, I got a few. Where are all the freaking spiders? I hear them. They're not under me, are they? Is that netherrack over there? I think so. There's glowstone on top. No idea what that is over there. Oh yes, and one rule that I did look up. I'm not going to run into it for a little while, I don't think. But the non-grass ones, I need to come in from the bottom. I thought I already... Oh, I hadn't opened my inventory yet. Oops. Yeah, I'm getting these achievements a little bit out of order. Oh well. Okay, you know what? Just let them decay. Just let them decay. I'm gonna come over here and build a little bit of a mine down over in this corner here. Okay, so what did I learn on that first trip down to the bottom of this jar? One, there's a bunch of spiders somewhere down there. And two, there's also lava down there. Three, I am in desperate, desperate need of an iron pick. Because there are a ton of diamonds down there. And my voice is cracking like I'm, you know, going through puberty again. I should be placing these saplings down. Oh, there's some leaves over here I didn't break. Oh, I was thinking that was a log. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm going to place these saplings down. 
Oops. Okay. Okay, so... I have some coal, so I should make a few torches. And I should definitely make some... a few stone picks here. Oh, come on. I'll make two. Okay. Back down into the mines! You know what? Before I even continue, I just want to notice that there is a dungeon, or a, a mob spawn room, right above me. And I didn't even notice it when I was down here before. You know, I'm looking at all these mo this mossy cobble and all this, and I'm going, I wonder what that is. And it doesn't even dawn on me that it could be, you know, a, a uh, mob spawn room. So there is probably a... Can I... I don't want to do that yet, because I don't have any way to defend myself. So when, after I get a few of these diamonds out, assuming I can find some kind of iron... So many diamonds! Oh my god. So much coal, too. This is a nice coal deposit right here. Alright, well I'm going to continue mining, and I'll see you guys back up at the top. Okay, so we were able to find a sizable iron deposit down there, so let's uh, go ahead and get that smelting. I don't want that one. I want that. I'm too... oh yeah. I, I don't need this here anymore. Okay, coal and iron. Okay. Harvest the sugar cane. Does that max growth? Got a couple spots that I could lace it down. Okay, it, it wasn't my hopper. I didn't see it there for a second. You know, hold on, let me check my microphone. It is unmuted. Okay, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So, while that's going, and I mean, I'm going to. Let's see here. I'm gonna make some cobblestone slabs because I'm gonna be using those to traverse between the islands. Or the not the islands. What am I trying to say? One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Good enough. Between the jars! There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. So, while that's smelting, I'm going to be building out in a little bit, and I'm going to be doing it down at the bottom... Nope. I guess I'm doing it at the top on this one. I'm going to try and do it at the bottom of the block, so that I, you know, can prevent mobs from spawning on it. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I've built out to the animals, and the ones that I'm looking for are... Am I on peaceful? I don't believe I am. I'm on normal. I just wonder what this empty jar is for. But one that... the animal that I'm looking for is sheep, so that I can use some shears, get some wool, and make a bed. I hear cows, I hear chickens. I don't actually hear sheep. Chickens, pigs, oh there are the sheep. They're way on the end. Wow. Okay, I'll see um I'm gonna keep building on this. See you guys in a bit.
Alright, so everything is built. I'm not too worried about the mushrooms right now. I have them closed off. I'm not going to go there yet. Um, worried mostly about the sheep and the cows and the pigs and the chickens. You know, the, the, the main... But, let's uh, make some shears. And while I'm at it, I might as well make... I just turn all these into sticks. And I'll make an iron pick so that I can go get some of those diamonds later. But first order of business is make a bed. And let's speed things up a little bit. Come on, where's the sheep? Okay. So... I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Okay, sheepy, come here. Come here. Give me, give me a wool. Okay, now. I can keep you in there like that. <laughs> I think, and I don't think you're gonna, you'll try and jump out from there. Just for good measure, I'll do that. Okay. Pigs, I'm gonna leave until I can breed. Chickens, the same thing. I'm going to be surviving off of wheat and bread, I guess, right now. But it's gonna be nighttime, I need to make that bed so that I can sleep and I got a few trees popped up, which is nice. But let's see, where'd my, okay, there we go. Like, where'd all my wood go? You got a bed. Okay. So this has been episode one of World in a Jar. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to be focusing on this. Instead of in, da El in, in I don't know what I'm trying to say, Eldaria, for a little while, at least until I can get my computer upgraded. Once I do that, I'll be back and doing both World in a Jar and Minecraft. Or, yeah, this is Minecraft. Um, World in a Jar and Eldaria. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Bye!